So right across the street, there's a mini market here. Let's go check it out. Let's go check out this mini market if I can cross the road. You gotta be brave, you gotta just do it. All right, let's go. All right, that's how you cross the road again. Yes, no pen. Let's see what they sell here in this mini market. I guess this is what they use for offerings. Though I could be absolutely mistaken. Oh. I'm still looking for a place on the street to do a haircut here. But let's explore this. They sell fruits here. So that lunch cost me about four American dollars which was which was not really cheap but okay judging that it's American dollars they sell durian on the other side here and a money exchange place I'm not sure what this street is Maybe, oh, it's, it's called Priya Adong. Street number 110. Let's explore Priya Adong. Almost got hit by a moped. Eh? Let's block with the right hand so no one can snatch away my camera. Although it is less apparent now that anybody will do that. But you still gotta be careful. By the way, if you notice the difference, I'm vlogging with the GoPro Hero 5 now. And there it is. It is quite the same as Central Market. Pierre Adon Street here. They sell bags. I don't think I'm getting anything here from this street. We're about three minutes in. But yeah, let's walk. Let's continue walking along this street here and keep exploring. We've got fake Louis Vuitton. Let's go right here. I'm not really not sure what this is. Maybe I'll find my watermelon juice here. Let's check it out. Sales underwear. Street, street Cambodian food. Some fruits. Yeah. To sell. What have you got? Fish from the Mekong River here, I guess. Donations for the Red Cross. Some meat. Yeah, I guess it's a regular thing here that they do in almost every market that you go these developing countries. Fresh prawns. Right, let's go left here and see. Let's explore more. It's the left. I guess that's the dumpster there. Eh? I think that's the end of the market. All right then, let's go the other side. Seafood.
If only they have like street bubble here. CD ROMs, VCDs. <coughs> Let's go into the market here. Let's check out what they, they sell in the market here. Hair extension for the ladies. Yes, this is for the ladies section here. Let's walk this way. Traditional clothes, I guess. More clothes. Not as grand as Central Market, but that's expected. Yes, that's the end of the market. Such a small market. Where else can we go? Let's try going this way. More extension for the ladies. Now we have haircut here. Like I said, I'm looking for a street haircut. Not in one of these um, places. There's nothing much to show you here actually. Jewelry. I'm just having a walkthrough in, in, in this market here. Nothing. I don't think I'm going to get anything from here Judging from the fact that This appeals more to the female But yeah, let's head back out To the street Where am I going? I've lost my way here uh, Where was I? Let's head away from the riverside, I guess. Let's go right here. Adidas bag. More Adidas bag. Um, Tuk-tuk drivers waiting for a customer. One thing that I've experienced differently comparing Cambodia or Phnom Penh specifically to that of um, Vietnam is that tuk-tuk drivers are not as aggressive compared to tuk-tuk drivers in Ho Chi Minh City. For example, like I've never been harassed here in the street from tuk-tuk drivers forcing me to get into their tuk-tuk whereas in Ho Chi Minh like everywhere I go people kind of surround me and trying to force me to get into their tuk-tuk so I'm liking Phnom Penh better than Ho Chi Minh oh. coconuts here Right now, I don't even know where I'm going, but that's the beauty of exploring a city. You do not need to know where you're going, you just need to go and explore. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Shop houses at the top. Some massage place. Yes. 
um, what is this? Microfinance institution. All right, I'm heading away from the market here. And I think I might walk back to my hostel. I think my hostel is not too far away from here. And the weather's improving now, it's not as hot as before. So making walking a little bit more less tiring. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to my hostel and crash for a little bit here. Yes, the street is Pierre Ah Dong Street. You can see. Let's get a selfie. Hopefully it's in the shot, it's in the frame. I'm getting bitten by mosquito here. So I think I'm gonna actually I'm not gonna walk back, I'm gonna hail a grab here and take a tuk-tuk. Alright, I'll shall see you on my next video. See ya. That's Vidanya.